<laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your man Iman. I'm here with a quick vlog. I had to t share this story with you guys because it had me rolling. Uh, I was in LA today. I had a meeting, and then after the meeting, I decided to go get my hair cut. Uh, reason why is because in LA, I can get my hair cut, whereas in Thousand Oaks, there's not any black barbers. I can't really get my hair cut right out here. Um, my haircuts end up kind of janky. So I go to LA to get my hair cut at a black barber. Now, just to segue real quick, I, I remember I opened up that can of worms a long time ago on Twitter, and a lot of people got really butthurt. Would you trying to say Mexicans can't cut your hair right? Yeah, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And it's not about Mexican or black or white. It's just about... Anyway, I'm going to address that tomorrow in a vlog so we can open that can of worms again because it needs to be open. Anyway, back to my story. I go get my hair cut, right? And uh, I go sit in the, the barber's chair. I'm like, you know, just fade it out a little bit, shape it up, whatnot. Pretty simple. So they had Chris Brown playing. The way that I feel when I'm with you, with you, with you, with you, with you. That song, you guys know that song. Now, here's where it gets a little funny and awkward. The dude is singing along with the Chris Brown as he's cutting my hair. But you ever hear someone sing something like, like when you sing to yourself kind of, sort of, you kind of, you kind of sing it under your breath. So you're kind of like, with you, with you, with you. With you. But the awkward thing about that is it kind of sounds like whispering and when he was close to me It kind of sounded like he was whispering to me <laughs> So real quick this became a very awkward haircut because he's like right here He's like cutting my hair, but you know He's like leaning in getting the cut right but at the same time He's going the way that I feel when I with you with you with you with you with you Yo, man at this point I'm laughing so hard about the thought of it like, yo, this dude doesn't realize he sounds like he's whispering Chris Brown lyrics to me. At this point, I was ready to bust out laughing. But have you ever wanted to laugh, but you held it in because you're not supposed to or you shouldn't, but then you get stuck with that awkward looking smirk on your face because you really try not to laugh and you're holding it in? First, he was awkward. Now, I look awkward because I'm trying to hold it in and laugh. And then a couple songs in a row back to back came on. I can't even, I wanted to remember what the other songs were, but it was some old school R&B jams, like the slow joints with the, with, the, with the meaningful lyrics and stuff. There was some song that came on like, Something like, I can't control myself when you touch me. Y'all don't understand, I was rolling in that chair. I had to share the story with you guys, because I came home laughing about like, yo, that's really funny. And ironic, because you know what, as an actor, when I come up with characters or sketches or just funny ideas, it's almost always based on something in real life, because life is funny. People ask me, where do you get your comedy? Life. Life is funny and people are just naturally funny. Sometimes they do things they don't mean to do and they don't realize how funny it is. And that is a character. I guarantee you I'm probably gonna end up turning that into a character. The Awkward Barber, that mess was hilarious. Oh my God, all right y'all. I will catch y'all with a new vlog tomorrow. Deuce.